Welcome once again to another new video. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. And in this tutorial video, I will be covering some important MCT questions on higher education along with explanation from the syllabus of EG Senate paper 1 for the upcoming EG Senate exam. And this is part 4. I am conducting MCT series on higher education. This is part 4. In the previous three videos, I have also discussed many questions along with explanation. And in this tutorial video, I will be also covering some important MCP question on higher education. Please do watch the video till the end because it's going to be a very fruitful session and I will definitely share the links of the other videos in the description box. So let's get started with question number one. So here is your first question on your screen. And the first question is, which of the following committee recommended the spending of 500 crores to be spent on research in basic sciences every year by UGC. So, which of the following committees recommended the spending of 500 crores to be spent on research in basic science every year by UGC? So your options are MM Sarma Committee, Kakudur Committee, Professor Jaswal Committee, or none of the above. So, here the right option is MM Sarma Committee had recommended to the spending of 500 crores to be spent on research in basic sciences every year by UGC. So, A is right option over here. Moving at to question number 2. The committee set up by MHRT, that is Ministry of Human Resource Development, which recommended autonomy of IIT was headed by each one of the following. Professor Anil Kakodar, Professor Jaspal, or Samti Kudra, or none of the above. So, the committee set up by MHRT, which recommended the autonomy of IITs, and it was headed by, the right option is here, Professor Anil Kakodar. So here A is right option. And a committee was constituted by the Ministry of Human Resource Development, MHRD, by its order number of 3 of, uh, of 3rd February 2010 to suggest a roadmap for the autonomy and future of Indian Institutes of Technology, that is IITs, as a world-class institution for research and higher learning. The terms of reference of the committee are given in the order a copy of which is included in the report and appendix one. The committee held several meetings including discussions with the directors of IITs and the section of faculty members of IIT at Kharagpur, Mumbai, Chennai, Kanpur and Delhi. So this was, and it was headed by whom? It was headed by none other than Anil Kapadha. So moving on to question number three. National Knowledge Commission, that is NKC, National Knowledge Commission was headed by Professor Anil Kapadha, no? Professor just spell no, some Pidudra or none of the above. So NKC, that is National Knowledge Commission, was headed by Sam Pidudra. So here C is right option. And here is the explanation. National Knowledge Commission, that is NKC, was an Indian think tank charged with considering possible policies that might sharpen India's comparative advantage in the knowledge intensive service sectors and it has constituted on 13 June 2005 by then Prime Minister of Indian, India, Nirjiman Mohan Singh. And in particular, the commission was to advise the Prime Minister's office and policy related to education, research institutes and reforms related to make Indian cooperative in the knowledge economy. As of July 2014, and it was discontinued by um, the National Knowledge Commission is defunct as the incoming government of India elected in the summer of 2014 discontinued it. And the National Knowledge Commission consists of the following eight members. And here is one Sam Pitudra, that is the chairman of NKC. So here Sam Pitudra is the right option. A committee was set up in 1990 to review NPE, that is the second education policy. Our first education policy came in 1968. And the second education policy uh, came in 1986. And the third education policy came in 2020. So it was to review the second education policy uh, of 1986 and its report titled as Towards an Enlightened and Human Society stated that system of higher education encourages mem memorization of facts and, re and regurgitation rather than creativity. The head of the committee was. So a committee. So who, are, who was the head of the committee? It was set up in 1990 and it has to review the 1986 second education policy. It is Acharya Ramurthy, Professor Jaspal, Professor M.M. Joshi, none of the above. 
So here yeah, the committee, it was set up in 1990 and the head of the committee was Acharya Ramutri. So here A is adoption. How many universities were set up were established under Central University Act of 2009? The options are 12, 16, 14, 43. So here 16 universities were established. So here B is adoption. 16 universities were set up under Central University Act of 2009. Moving ahead to the next question. Which of the following committees recommended the setting up of a National Commission for Higher Education and Research, that is NCHER, for prescribed standards of academic quality and defining policies for advancement of knowledge in higher educational institutions? Now, your options are Sam Pitudra Committee, Professor Jaspal Committee, MM Sarma Committee, or Ganam Committee. So, who the following committees recommended the setting up of NCHER? So, here the right option is Professor Jaspal Committee had recommended to set up NCHER. So, here B is right option. Professor Jaspal Committee is right option. We get to the next question, question number seven. Under which of the following constitutional amendments, education was transferred to the concurrent list? Education was transferred to the concurrent Concurrent lists. Okay. We'll have to say under fully the following constitutional amendments. Now, which amendments is it? Was it 42, 42, 73, 74, or none of the above? So here yeah, the right of sons should be 42. There is 42 amendments. So here A is right of son. And here is the explanation. The 42 Amendment Act was enacted in 1976. Reorganizing the Seventh Amendment to ensure that the subjects of the state list, such as education, forestry, wildlife, and bird protection, the administrations of justice, and weights and measures were transferred to the concurrent list. So, education was transferred to the concurrent list in the 42 Amendment Act. Okay. Moving ahead to the next question. Which of the following days is celebrated as National Education Day? National Educational Day. Your options are September 5, that is 5th September, 2nd October, November 11th, or November 1st, 1st November. So, here National Education Day is celebrated in, here, in November. So, on, uh, on November, uh, on 11th November. So, here November 11 is the right option. On 11th November, National Education Day is celebrated. So we get next question. The concept of Meta University was first founded by Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Jawaharlal Nehru University, Harvard Business School, Delhi University. The concept of Meta University was first founded by Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Here A is right option. Now A right option. So we get question number 10. The National Youth Day observed across India on 12th January commemorates the birth anniversary of which famous Indian personality? So, 12th January, that is observed across India as a national youth day, and it is to commemorate the birth anniversary of which of famous Indian personality? Swami Dayanand Saraswati, Swami Vivekananda, Aravind Ghosh, Ravindra Tank. So, here yeah, the right option is Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda is the right option, and on his birth anniversary, that is on 12th January, National Youth Day is celebrated across all over India. Moving at to question number 11, the real executive authority of the state is the governor, the speaker, the council of ministers, the chief justice of high court. So yeah, the real executive authority of the state is the governor. The governor is the real executive authority of the state. So here yeah, he is right of sir. Moving at to question number 12. Which of the following commissions recommended that governors must not be removed? Governor to remove nahi kar sakte hu, ab, before completion of their five years tenure. Which of the following commissions recommended that governors must not be removed for before completion of their five year tenure? So your options are that is Venkat Service Commission, Panchi Commissions, Sakarya Commissions, or Rajmandal Commission. So we are Governor must not be removed before completion of their five-year tenure. So which commission recommended? It was Sakarya Commission that recommended governors must not be 
must not be removed before the tenure of five years. Moving and here is the explanation. Sakarya Commission was set up in 1983 by the Central Government of India. The Sakarya Commission Charter was to examine the central state relationship on various portfolios and is to suggest changes within the framework of Constitution of India. And the final report contained 247 specific recommendations and it recommended that governments must not be removed before completion of their five-year tenure except in rare and compelling circumstances. Except in rare and compelling circumstances. Moving on to question 13, which is when these are committee report or commission and here are some recommendations by those committee report or commissions. Now, Woods Dispatch, Heart of Committee, Hunter Commissions, Sergeant Report and here are some recommendations. The segregations or the divisions of primary and higher education and then you have improving the quality and standard of university level education, first policy measure in higher education or recommended setting up of UGC. So here Woods Dispatch each first policy measure on higher education and Woods Dispatch came in 1854. This is the Magna Carta, so where A is 3, whereas uh, Hunter Commission has divided. It is about the segregation of primary and higher education. So Hunter Commissions, that is A, segregation of primary and higher education. Whereas Sergeant Report has recommended the setting up of UGC and UGC, uh, yeah, uh, Sergeant Report has recommended the setting up of UGC. And a larger committee is about to improve the quality and standard of university level education. So here, A3, uh, B2, A3, B2, A3, B2, A3, B2, and C1, C1, and D4, C1, D4. So here, C is the adoption. So, Moon's Dispatch is the first policy measure on higher education. And a larger committee is to improve the quality and the standard of university level education. Uh, whereas, Hunter Commission is about the segregation, the division of primary and higher education, and Sargent Report has recommended to set up uh, UGC. Moving ahead to question number 14, the first policy measure in the direction of higher education is Woods Dispatch, the Cowless Minutes, Elphinstone Report, none of the ever. So the first policy measure in the direction of the higher education is Woods Dispatch that came in 1854, Whereas Elphinstone Report came in 1823. Elphinstone Report came in 1823. Woods Dispatch came in 1854 and it is known as also Magna Carta. So Woods Dispatch is the right option. Moving on to question number 15. EHEI. So, what is the full form of EHEI? Stands for Equality in Higher Education Institutions. No. Equality in Higher Education Index. Equality in Higher Education Index. Equality in Hidden Educational Education Income. No. So, here. EHEI stands for the full form of EHEI is equity in higher education index. So B is adoption. Equity in higher education index. Moving ahead to question number 16. What is the full form of API in higher education? So related to higher education, academic parameter indicator, academic performance index, academic paid instrument, none of the above. So API stands for academic performance index. API stands for in higher education is the full form of API in higher education is academic performance index. The next question, the National Literacy Mission, that is the NLM, National Literacy Mission, was established in Fiji. Your options are 1988, 1998, 1999, 2000. So here the right option is 1988. National Literacy Mission was established in 1988. Moving on to question number 18. The university that telecasts the interactive educational program through its own channel is Dr. B.R. Ambedkar Open University, Hyderabad, IGNU, University of Pune, or Anavala University. So, here yeah, the right option is IGNU. IGNU is the university that telecasts interactive educational programs through its own channel. So, here yeah, B is adoption. Next question The title of Jaswal Committee report that came in 1993. Jaswal Committee uh, report came in 1993. Each, what is the title of Jaswal Committee report? ICT in teacher education, learning without burden, learning through broadcasting, none of the above. So, yeah, the title of Just One Committee of 1993 is Learning Without Burden. So, here B is right option. We get to question number 20. In which of the following years, the National Policy of Education was revised and a program of action, that is POA, was also at its weight. So, I told earlier that the first education policy came in 1968. Whereas the second education policy came in 1986 and 
uh, here it was promulgated by Rajiv Gandhi and 1960s it was promulgated by uh, Indira Gandhi whereas the third education policy that is in came in 2020 it is promulgated by Narendra Modi so here yeah, the national policy of education that is of 1986 was revised and a program of action was also attached to it so in use of the following years so it was in 1968 no 1976 no 1986 no 1992 so it was program of action came in the year 1992 after the second education policy of 1986 so it is revised in the year 1992 so here d is added option moving at to question number 21 lok sabha can be dissolved it can be dissolved before the expiry of its normal five-year term by the prime minister the speaker of lok sabha or the president on the recommendation of prime minister or none of the above so lok sabha can be dissolved before the expiry of its normal five-year tenure uh, it can be dissolved by the president but the recommendation should be given by the prime minister so the president on the recommendation of prime minister so you have c is the right option next question which of the following is a specialized agency of un to deal with the copyright and other intellectual property rights deal with the copyright and other intellectual property rights so options as wipo gats g a t t none of the ever so here the right option is uh, that is uh, World Intellectual Property Organization. So, WIPO is the right option, and WIPO's uh, full form is World Intellectual Property Organization. It is to deal with copyright and other intellectual property rights. So, A is the right option. Rashtriya Sanskrit Vidyapit is located in Tirupati, Chennai, Hyderabad, Jaipur. Rashtriya Sanskrit Vidyapit is located in Tirupati. So, right option is A. Site means what is the full form of site? Satellite instructional television experiment, satellite informational television experiment, or satellite instructional telecom experiment. It does not deal with telecom experiment. It is about television experiment or television experiment. So it is instructional television experiment. Site means satellite instructional television experiment. It was uh, launched in uh, in Gujarat. It is to uh, it is to educate the illiterate. Uh, the illiterate people of the, the village hmm, by the broadcast. So here, the objective of this experiment was to educate the illiterate people in rural areas via satellite broadcasting. Site, or it stands for Satellite Instructional and Television Experiment, was an undertaking taken up by the Space Application Center at Ahmedabad, in Gujarat. So moving at equals 25, develop the research station on Antarctic set up by India is Darshan Ganga, Darshan Ganga, Darshan Gadaguri, another Nanadana. So, you know, uh, name of the research station on Antarctic set up by India is the first was Darshan Ganga tree. And now the active, active Indian research station on Antarctic is Maitri and Bharti. Bharti and Maitri are the active Indian research station on Antarctic, whereas Darshan Ganga tree was the first research station on Antarctic set. So, yeah, Darshan Ganga tree is the right answer. Who was the chairman of UEC, that is University Education Commission, that was set up in 1948? So after the after our independence, it was the first commission, that is University University Education Commission, set up in 1948. Who was the chairman? Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, Dr. D. S. Kutari, Molana Abdul Kalamaja, or C. D. Desmu. So yeah, the right option is Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan. So yeah, Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan was the chairman of University Education Commission of 1948. Moving on to question number 27, the preamble to the constitution states that we, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and as such as, by which of the following amendments where the words socialist and secular were added, the words socialist and secular are added to which of the following amendments. Options are 42 amendment, 72, 73, or 83. Uh, so here the right option is 42 amendment. So it was uh, by 42 amendment. And here is the explanation. The term socialist and secular and integrity were added to the preamble of Indian Constitution of 19, in, in 1976 through the 42 Constitutional Amendment. So we get to question number. 28. A federal system 
must have a written constitution, must have an unwritten constitution, must have either written or unwritten constitution, or may not have an any constitution. So a federal system must have a, a written constitution. So here is the adoption. Next question: When was the Indian Constitution passed by the Constitution Assembly? So when was the Indian Constitution passed by the Constitution Assembly? Now your options are 26 November 1949, 26 January 1949, 26 January 1950, or none of the above. So it was passed. Indian Constitution was passed by the Constitution Assembly. Uh, that is in uh, on 26 November 1949 and it came into force uh, on 26 January 1950 but it was passed 20 on 26 November 1949 it came into force uh, in uh, it is on 26 January 1950 so here is adoption and here is the last question to end up the session here is question number 13 the parliament of India Consists of Lok Sabha only, Rajya Sabha only, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and President. The Parliament of India consists of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha as well as President. The Parliament of India consists of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and President. So this